This is a message to all Scientologists, non-Scientologists, ex-sealed members, current sealed members. Even though half of the people I want to hear this won't hear it, I think it's quite important, uh, especially to the members of ANON and why we protest. Uh, this could be of some relevance. In the, in the, quote, fight against the Church of Scientology, what we're being constantly drawn into is uh, offending their beliefs. And what's become apparent on the message boards is that some people would like to see the C organization removed, but not necessarily Scientology. And it's always been advised to me, and I've always advised others not to cross the line of belief or to um, bring this up as a, as a point. But I think it's going to have to be brought up here, um, because what we have is, I've noticed that Marty Rathburn has his blog, and what he's fundamentally doing is he's putting down the Sea Organization and suggesting a new group or a new formation to allow Scientology to flow freely out there. The question becomes, is it okay to allow somebody to believe in Scientology or not? Is it okay? One would, on a face value, say, yes, it is okay. Why shouldn't they? They're entitled to their own beliefs. I tend to agree with that. However, I have to qualify that. Um, we are talking about a religious belief that is not just discussing religion. This uh, belief system established by Aaron Hubbard is highly political. It calls for control over governments. It calls for control over whether or not psychiatry should be allowed to exist or not, and it borders on whether or not we should allow medical uh, practitioners to proceed. And because it has jumped into that realm, it is entirely acceptable that we have a right to disagree with that. Unfortunately for Scientology, they've made the choice that by following their belief system, you will have to accept all of L. Ron Hubbard's teachings. And unfortunately for them, L. Ron Hubbard's teachings also include the elimination of any opposition to Scientology. If a person out there is wanting to see the Sea Organization gone, but Scientology to continue, then what you're actively condoning is simply the elimination of the Sea Org and the existence of Scientology. The existence of Scientology will have to include, because it demands it at the start of every course in Keeping Scientology Working Series 1 policy, the elimination of anybody who omits Scientology technology. In other words, you cannot choose whether or not this policy is applied or not. If you do choose to omit a policy, then it is considered within Scientology that you are against the greatest good for the greatest number of people. And because of that, you will be fought and treated as an enemy. As an example, Marty Rathburn uh, considers people that are in opposition to Scientology are fundamentally opposed to him. And in this there is truth, but it doesn't come from hate, it comes from love. Um, and this is a hard concept to get across to somebody who's still into Scientology, but perhaps is in disagreement with how it's organised. One has to understand that this is the current structure of the C organization and the atrocities that are being carried out are the desire of L. Ron Hubbard. You can lie to yourself if you want to, but you're just lying to yourself. If you view the policies of the C organization, they call for the violation of human rights. If you even look at the publicly available policy on what is considered a suppressive person, and how a person is to conduct themselves in society, it is quite clear and apparent that a Scientologist must only apply Scientology to the utmost of his ability in every given situation to get the desired outcome. The reality is, though, is that Scientology should not have crossed the line into politics or how we decide to govern the relationships we hold with other people. There is no consequence of a person being anti-Scientology towards you. If you're capable of evaluating information out for yourself, then there's no problem. The Scientology calls into question this thing called relationship control, whereby they will control the relationships you hold with other people around you. Whether or not it's a voluntary decision is quite separate from the fact that Scientology has asked you to make this choice in the first place. Do you see this?
Why would any religion call into question whether or not it is healthy to be in touch with a person that is against Scientology? I don't think that um, <coughs> people out there really believe that people, the people of Anonymous or why we protest are evil people or ex sealed members like myself are evil people. We're out here because we want to help people. It's not about emptying the coffers of the church, nor is it about destroying Scientology. What it is, is it is about pointing out that unfortunately, L. Ron Hubbard's technology regarding the mind is unsubstantiated and is full of loopholes. And yet you've been asked to accept this hook, line and sinker without any evaluation. This can be seen in the first policy that you ever read called Keeping Scientology Working, Series 1, which is at the start of every single policy letter. In there it is quite clearly stated that there is to be no discussion regarding the technology. There is to be no acceptance of misapplication or non-application. But this has a problem, because if L. Ron Hubbard is wrong in any of his policies, it must be applied. And I'm sorry, but the same man that you love and respect that created this technology has failed to deliver the operating thing. It's failed to deliver the operating thing because it doesn't exist. That's exactly why you keep hoping that the next course or the next thing will give it to you. It won't. Is there any disagreement that a touch assist can help somebody? No. Is there any disagreement that the basic communications course can help somebody? No. Is there any disagreement that the student hat might offer some relief to a person who's having trouble studying? No. But just because you're a good dentist doesn't make you a brain surgeon. And L. Ron Hubbard was just a dentist. And people wanted him to be a brain surgeon. So he created other technology called Scientology. It doesn't work. It doesn't exist. And that can hurt some people's feelings. I'm sorry, but there is no such thing as a clear. There is nobody on this planet that can recall every last life. If there was, I'd like to meet them. I'd like to meet somebody who can recall their lives going back 75 trillion years. It doesn't exist. L. Ron Hubbard himself couldn't do it. If he could do it, then he would have created the space program. If he could do it, then he would have brought technology and things to help mankind. If you want to question the activities of your church, then just take a look at them. Is this church helping homeless people? No. Why aren't they helping homeless people? Because L. Ron Hubbard calls them degraded beings. It's not the church, it's L. Ron Hubbard that's calling them degraded beings. He said, make the capable people more capable. That's very good and well. And by capable, we mean people with money that can afford it. And this is a horrible thing. The Church of Scientology has never lifted a finger to help anybody in the Congo, in Africa, or any impoverished nation. It'll only help where they can receive monies. They state that the monies are needed because that's the cost of deliverance of it, which is just clearly not true. Christians and Catholics will gladly donate their money and time to help homeless people get on with their lives and find shelter without ever asking them to become a member of their church. And Scientology won't do that. When you're fighting people, and I'm talking to Anonymous and why we protest, and ex-Scientologists and ex-Sealed members, have pride in what you're doing. You should be really proud of what you're doing. People need you to stand up and show the truth of this religion because they won't look at it. They won't see the information on where Elrond Hubbard really came from and how much he lied to us. And try to have an understanding that the people that are in there now are clinging on to the greatest lie that Elrond Hubbard ever gave, and it's called hope. And hope is always in the next course. Hope is always the next level. It's never what you get now. People are happy in Scientology, and I'm glad for them to be happy. But I ask that they do not pass on their delusion or lack of investigative um, background to other people. You don't know what the purification does to people. You don't know what auditing does to people. If you are really open-minded, then you'll review all information on the internet and actually take a look. If you can't do this, then you shouldn't be preaching what you don't know.